listen to this story. This is absolutely, it should blow your mind. So this woman pictured here, her name is Lori Smith, and she was at the Supreme Court. The church in America is going to suffer so terribly. And we laugh now, but they will come after us. They will come after our children. They will close the net around us while we are playing soccer mom and soccer dad. While we are arguing over so many little things and mesmerized by so many trinkets, the net even now is closing around you and your children and your grandchildren, and it does not cause you to fear. Howdy, y'all. I'm Brylan. You know, we're at an interesting crossroads in this country right now where more and more of our freedoms are being taken from us every single day. And more and more people are afraid to speak out against it for fear of, you know, being canceled and destroyed for actually appreciating freedom. And also within the Christian community, the body of Christ, more and more we're falling for one of Satan's favorite tricks. And that's the world telling us that you know, these ideas within this outdated book here are just full of bigotry. And if you follow this, then you're hateful. We've progressed beyond this. We now know better than God. And you know, so many Christians are falling for this and they're saying, well, okay, we'll just set the Bible aside in the truth of God's word you know, we won't necessarily follow that, but I'm still going to be a Christian, but just silently. I'm, and I'm, I'm just going to mind my own business because the world said it was rude for me to speak up. So I'm going to stay quiet and silent and just let them trample all over me because that's what a good Christian does. That couldn't be further from the truth. You know, the world's not going to love you if you stay quiet. The world's not going to accept you if you stay quiet. All you're doing is submitting to something that hates you. You're submitting to Satan at that point, and all he wants is your destruction. You know, the Bible says that those who aren't of God are of their father, Satan, who is the father of lies and deceit. The Bible says Satan is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. So I promise you, no matter how much you try to submit, it will never be good enough and the world will always hate you. So why not give them a reason to hate you and stand on the truth of God's word proudly? And I promise you, God will bless you. Hey, if you enjoy my content and would like to support this channel, we just dropped some of our new merch. This is Read the Bible. I love this shirt. You can find our merch linked in the description below. It's called Shop Our Merch. Hey, would you mind hitting that subscribe button and being a part of this community with us? I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button, you know, when you like this video, YouTube will push it out to more people and it would really help spread this message. I have a shocking story that I want to show you that you need to hear and need to be aware of to understand the times that we're living in. But before we do that, it's very important that you hear this scripture. I'm just going to go through a few verses here. This is Matthew chapter 10, starting in verse 16. Behold, I am sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. So when you have out in the wild a sheep and a wolf, who is the greater in terms of strength? The wolf. You know, the wolf will devour that sheep if that sheep isn't protected. You know, we are considered sheep and our protector is the very creator of this universe. And you know, we must rely on the protection of God in order to be protected from the wolves in this world against Satan and his minions when they try to come against us and destroy us for standing on truth. And it says, so be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. You know, the serpent was a symbol of cunning intellectualism to be smart 
to be wise, to not be taken advantage of. Don't give in to these schemes of the evil one that wants to come in and tell you that you're a bigot, you're wrong, you're unloving, you're selfish, you're all these different things. You're hateful for standing on the truth of God's word. Do not be overtaken by the lies of this world. And innocent as doves, you know, the dove is a symbol of purity. We should remain pure in the midst of these attacks. In the midst of navigating this world, we should remain wise and cunning, but also pure and just and loving. In verse 17, beware of men, for they will deliver you over to courts and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake to bear witness before them and the Gentiles. Verse 19, look at what Jesus promises here. When they deliver you over, do not be anxious how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given to you in that hour. You know, the spirit of the living God. The creator of the universe dwells within believers. And when we face this persecution, even against our own family, the Spirit of God will move in us. And if we remain steadfast in truth and being led by the Spirit and remain in the truth of God's Word until the end, then look at what the end of verse 22 says. It says, you will be saved. We have an obligation to stand on the truth of God's Word. We have an obligation to fight back against the evils of the world. We cannot sit here and pretend like persecution and the hatred towards Christians is just something that we must bear and stay quiet or else we're not Christian. You know, that's the furthest thing from the truth. We must fight and stay steadfast in truth. That's where this story comes in. Religious liberty advocates rally against unconstitutional Colorado law as Supreme Court mulls pivotal case. Now, listen to this story. This is absolutely, it should blow your mind that we live in the United States of America, at least you know those of you watching that do, along with me, uh, then you would understand the freedoms that we have in this country or, you know, once had in this country that we're losing more and more of every day. And people are just blissfully unaware that more and more of our freedoms are being stripped and more and more of our freedoms as Christians are being stripped. So this woman pictured here, her name is Lori Smith. She's the owner of a website design company called 303 Creative, and she was at the Supreme Court speaking. Now listen to this story. Religious liberty advocates gathered for a rally outside of the United States Supreme Court Monday as the justices heard oral arguments in the case of 303 Creative LLC versus Elenis a case that will likely have major implications for religious liberty and freedom of expression. Alliance Defending Freedom, which is representing plaintiff Lori Smith in the case, held a rally outside the Supreme Court as arguments took place inside. This case stems from Christian website designer Lori Smith of 303 Creative challenging the Colorado Anti-Discrimination Act out of concern that the law could characterize her objection to creating websites celebrating same-sex marriages as a violation of non-discrimination protections for LGB-identified individuals. So Colorado is saying that Lori Smith has to submit and create whatever website the LGB community commands her to create for them. You know, she's not allowed to, I don't know, have any personal convictions. Plus, think about this, Lori Smith is the only website designer in the world. So, of course, the LGB community is going to have to rely on Lori Smith for all their website needs because she's the only one in the world that obviously I'm being facetious here. You know, this is at a level where it is so ridiculous that you literally have an entire side of the political aisle that hunts. Again, remember, remember the sheeps among wolves? You literally have people that hunt for businesses, ask them to do services, and if they don't submit, bing, 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 the bell goes off 
and they have a lawsuit. ADF contends that Colorado state law constitute a violation of its client's First Amendment rights. Yes, it absolutely does, which protect her from having to promote a message she disagrees with. Speakers at the rally include business owners who have faced such violations of their rights by states and local governments. Counter-protesters, many of whom were affiliated with the LGB activist groups, of course, attempted to drown out the speakers by chanting through megaphones, blowing whistles, and brought, you, you, ha you must be silenced. Do you get it yet? It, not only must you submit, but when you come to try to give uh, a, an account for your views, you are to be silenced. You are to be canceled. You are no longer worthy to live. Smith outlined the rationale for her lawsuit and remarks delivered to a crowd after the oral arguments concluded. After starting 303 Creative, this is Lori talking now, I was excited to expand my portfolio to design custom wedding websites that celebrate the beauty of marriage between husband and wife. But my home state made it clear that I am not welcome in that space. Colorado is trying to force me to create custom artwork and promote ideas inconsistent with my faith, the core of who I am. Right on, Lori. Keep standing on truth. I have your back, and hopefully the body of Christ will stand behind you and not give in. You know, we can fight this together. We're not alone. We are the body of Christ for a reason, to bear each other's burdens and to fight alongside each other. And that's what we should be doing. We shouldn't stay silent on these kinds of things. We should have our sisters back here. No government official should be able to do that to any of us. Exactly. Regardless of whether your beliefs are the same as mine or perhaps different. With much prayer and consideration, I decided to challenge Colorado's injustice and plead my case here today. Right on, sister. Smith's case was heard before the Supreme Court. Okay, check this out. So we have to literally take something to the Supreme Court in order to not be forced to do something against our personal convictions. But this is new to us in America, where we've always prided ourselves on our religious freedom and our openness and our willingness to accept any religion. We've always sort of felt that America was established on a biblical morality, but biblical truth has become very unpopular. Unbelievers now have defined uh, morality in their own terms, and anything that speaks against that is to be rejected, and that, of course, means the Bible. The satanic kingdom is ex exercising freedoms in America and in the West that it, it once didn't have the opportunity to exercise. Now, I don't know what the future looks like. I, I can't predict the future. Time will reveal how far this anti-biblical persecution will go. Uh, time will tell what they will do to the church, what they will do to believers, what the price will be that we will pay. But it is to be expected. Think about this for a second. This is how fragile our freedoms are that everyday Americans like Lori that are trying to just make a living and also follow Christ and not have her personal convictions violated. The fact that we have to take these things to the Supreme Court and still not be sure if we'll be able to actually have our freedoms upheld here in America, isn't this a wake-up call? Do, do Does anybody get it yet? Can we stop pretending like everything is fine and dandy and if i just ignore it it'll all go away that's not how any of this works we're called to take a stand even if that stand means that the world will hate us because of it but i promise you this the bible says that we will have exceeding joy and that we will prosper in the midst of all these attacks that the spirit of god is still within us and that we will overcome this and god will win in the end but hey let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below i would love to hear from you and hear your thoughts on all this hey come meet me over on patreon i'd love to get to know you over there on a more personal level you can find my patreon linked in the description below all right i'll see you in the next video bye